And so this is uh, the example for double integration method. So any uh, read the introduction in your uh, module. Okay, for example, we have this a beam, 3 meters span, it is loaded with a 12 kilonewtons at a distance 1 meter from uh, A. So the beam is will be having a dimension of 150 mm by 300 millimeters. Okay, modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal. So required, and the rotation at A, rotation at B, the maximum deflection of uh, the beam. So first thing to do, if you are to use double integra uh, integration method, so we have EI, modulus of elasticity, the moment of inertia, Y double prime is equal to uh, the moment. Or basically, this is your moment equation, the equivalent of your moment equation from the introduction in your uh, module. Then we have, if we are to integrate uh, both sides of the equation, this will be EI uh, Y prime is equal to the integral of the moment equation plus the first arbitrary constant. This will give us the slope equation all right so the first uh, the first integral of the moment equation will be uh, the slope equation then again if you are to integrate integrate uh, both sides of the equation so this now will be ei y and this is now equal to the double integration of the moment equation or uh, this is now c1 plus uh, c1x plus c sub 2 or the second arbitrary constant so this will be your uh, deflection equation. All right, the deflection equation. So first thing to do, we need the moment equation integrate. That will be the slope equation, and the second uh, second integration or second integral will be the uh, deflection equation. So uh, how to determine the maximum uh, deflection? So we need the deflection equation. So first is, you have to set your cut section, so let's say this is our cut section at a distance x from, okay, from A. We are to cut this uh, portion, then cut and expose. Alright, so what are the support reactions? So we need them. This is okay. So we have 12 times 1 is a 12 divided by 3. We have a 4. So this is 4 kilonewtons and reaction at A by summation forces vertical 12 minus 4 is okay, the reaction at A should be 8 kilo and newtons. So we have the reaction here as 8 kilonewtons. Or okay, this is our uh, exposed cut and exposed section. So we have a moment which is supposedly it should be counter clockwise. Okay. So summation moment of that cut section, this is okay, this is one meter. Your remaining distance dito should be x minus okay, x minus one. So summation moment about the cut section, this is a times x okay, minus the total times x minus one, since that is counter clockwise. This is assumed to be counterclockwise, so minus that moment equal to zero. So we having the equivalent of the moment equation is now equal to 8x minus 12 times x minus 1. So this will be our moment equation. And what is the equivalent of the moment equation? That is the same as the moment equation is equal to E i y double prime is now equal to 8x minus 12 times x minus 1 and then we are now ready to perform the first integration and the uh, second integration okay so we have the equation this is eiy double prime is now equal to this is 8x minus 12 times x minus 1. So we are now to integrate by both sides of the equation. So integral of EIY double prime. So they know EI, EI is uh, uh, this to R constant. So we have now EIY prime. 
is nag equal to integral of 8x is 8x squared over 2 minus 12 times x minus 1 squared divided by 2 plus the first arbitrary constant. So we have the equation, this is now ei y prime is now equal to we have 4x squared minus 12 over 2 is 6 times x minus 1 squared plus c1. So take note. This is our slope or rotation equation. So we can determine the rotation or the slope at any point of the beam using this equation. All we have to do is first determine the value of the first arbitrary constant. Okay, so that will be the first uh, integration. So we have now EIY prime is so equal to 4x squared minus 6 times x minus 1 squared plus C sub a uh, 1. We are now to again integrate both sides of the equation. So this now EIY prime will be EIY. Alright? EIY is so now equal to we have 4x cubed divided by 3 minus 6 times x, x minus 1. That is 2 plus 1, 3 divided by 3. So plus C1x plus the second arbitrary constant. So we simplify. So this is now the deflection equation. EIY is now equal to okay, 4 over 3 of x cubed minus we have 6 over 3 is the same as 2 times. Okay, 2 times x minus 1 plus 2, 3 plus c1x plus c sub r2. So all we have to do is determine the values of this arbitrary constant. So this is uh, the deflection equation. Okay? So we have the, the slope equation and the deflection equation. So how to determine the value of, okay, how to determine the value of the arbitrary constants? So, we go back here in our beam. Our beam. Babalikan lang natin ito. So, take note that this, this is just, uh, we are just to plot the coordinates. So, we may assume that A is your origin. Okay, so vertical axis is Y and horizontal axis will be obviously your X. Okay? So, obviously, at supports, kung wala tayong indication na nagkakaroon ng settlement, if we don't have a settlement on at supports, so at, okay, at supports, there is uh, A and B. So, obviously, we have for B, dapat sa support, we have deflection should be equal to zero. Okay? So, zero deflection dapat sa support. So, dapat yung beam lang nagbe-bend. Okay? Between the supports. So, at supports, A and B, Y should be equal to a zero. So, we may use at A, that is, okay, at support A, that is, at X is equal to zero. If, again, okay, we assume that A is your origin. So, at A, the coordinate is 0, 0. What will be the coordinate at B? That will be 3, 0. Okay? So, 3 meters horizontally to the right. So, at A is equal to, uh, at support A, the value of X should be equal to uh, 0. So, the flexion should be also equal to 0 since that is A support. So, this is the same as EI 0 equal to 4 over 3. 0 cube minus 2 times 0 minus 1, 3 plus C1 times 0 plus C sub of 2. Okay, so we have 0, 0, 0. How about this one? We have 0 minus 1 cube. Okay, so take note of the boundary condition. Okay, if we are to consider this one, yung 12 times x minus 1 kanina, ito. So take note, what is the boundary of this uh, third, the 2 minus x minus 1? So we should consider the value of x greater than 1. So otherwise, we neglect that portion. So as you can see, we are, we are considering yung span na to, that is at x is greater than the 1 meter. Okay? So which means, hindi kasalit yung 12 times x minus 1. If that happens, 
you may neglect. So assume this also to be zero. That is your boundary condition. Or kung ma-encounter kayo na nagkaroon siya ng negative, for example, again, for this, for this case, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So if that is a negative value of x, which means you are to neglect, that is uh, beyond the boundary condition of that span. So take note that we are considering a value of x greater than 1. Okay, so which means the value of c sub 2 should be equal to 0. Okay, then we have at, okay, at b, what is the value of x? That will be equal to at 3 meters. Again, that is a uh, support. The value of the deflection should be equal to 0. So substitution, we have this is ei0 uh, should be equal to 4 over 3 of 3 cubed. Minus 2 times 3 minus 1 cubed. So take note this time, it is uh, the value of x is greater than 1. So that is 3. And nagkaroon tayo ng positive value. So you are to consider that is within the boundary condition. So we have 3 minus 1 cubed. Okay, plus c1 times 3. I'll be just ignoring c sub 2 since that is a 0. Okay, so this will be a 0 equal to 3. 3 cube over 3. That is 3 squared. Okay, 4 times 3 squared or 4 times 9 is 36 minus okay, 2 times 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2 cube 8. 8 times 3 is we have 16 plus C1 times 3. We have 36 minus 16 is 20 divided by 3. Then transpose. C sub 1 is now equal to negative 20 over 3. And it's the value of c sub 1. Okay, so since we have now the value of c sub 1, we can now determine the values of the uh, rotation and the uh, deflection. So let us complete our slope equation. This is EIY prime is now equal to uh, 4x squared minus. 6 times x minus 1 squared. What is the value of c1? That is negative 20 over 3. So this is our slope equation. So as you can see, what is the unit of the slope equation? It should be uh, in kilonewton meter squared. Uh, take note, what is the uh, what is the unit for moment? Okay, for moment equation, that is kilonewton meter. You integrate the moment equation. Okay, pag integrate mo yung moment equation, ano yung magiging, ano yung magiging unit? So, integrating the moment equation will give us the unit of kilonewton meter squared. So, double integration of the moment equation will give us a unit of kilonewton meter cube. So, take note, ito lang yun. Yung x lang yung nag-i-integrate, yung baga. So, first degree, second degree then, third degree. Okay? So, rotation at A. That is, at X is equal to 0. Okay, origin. So, we having, this is now EIY prime is equal to 4 times 0 squared minus 6 times 0 minus 1 squared minus 20 over 3. Again, so, kung nagkakaroon tayo ng ganitong case that the value is negative, you are to neglect. Since the condition of this term should be greater than 1. Boundary condition. So, since x should be greater than 1, so this should be neglected. So, therefore, we have EIY prime is not equal to negative 20. And this is uh, negative 20 over 3. Unit is kilonewton meter squared. So, this is now the y prime is now equal to negative 20 over 3. So, uh, 20 over 3 divided by EI. Given your ton a uh, meter squared. So, if we are to determine the actual value of the rotation,
So, the actual value of the rotation at A, we have Y prime is equal to okay, 20 over 3. This is multiplied by 1,000 uh, 1,000 cube. Let's go mag unit analysis tayo dito. This is 1 kilonewton is to 1,000 newtons. Then, uh, 1,000 uh, 1,000 millimeters is to 1 a meter. Kaya lang ito is naka squared. So, squared. So, that's why we are to multiply 1,000 cube. Alright? Para yung unit dito sa numerator will be in newton mm squared. Divided by E. Okay, what is? Okay, balikan natin yung dimension ng beam. The dimension of the beam is uh, 150 mm by 300 mm. And yung E kanina is equal to 200 giga pascals. So, this divided by E, we have 200,000 megapascals. Megapascals is the same as newtons per square millimeter. Yeah. Para maging consistent lang tayo sa unit, so 200 giga pascal is 200,000 megapascal. Megapascal is equivalent to newtons per square mm. Moment of inertia, what is the moment of inertia of a rectangular section? This is the same as a BH cube over 12. Yung ating, I, I hope you can recall this from your basic subjects. So the base is a 150 multiplied by 300 cube divided by 12. So the unit will be millimeters raised to 4. So if you are to do unit analysis, cancel yung newtons. Okay, this is mm squared, mm to the fourth. May matitira supposedly dito na mm squared. But again, will be cancelled. Well, let us compute for the y prime, the same as theta or rotation at, okay, rotation at A. This is equal to 9.877 uh, 9 times 10 raised to negative uh, 5. As you can see, we have we don't have a unit. All units will become uh, cancelled out. So the remaining unit will uh, remaining unit should be uh, in terms of radians. So this is already again uh, radians. So kung gusto nyo gawing degrees or times uh, 180 Degrees divided by pi to be in range uh, to be in degrees. So the rotation of A will be and we have a rotation of five point six five nine times ten raised to negative three okay, degrees or degree. So that will be the rotation at uh, A. So a is at x equal to uh, 0. Okay, how can we determine the value of the rotation at b? Uh, 6, 5, 9. Okay. So we have how to determine the rotation at b or the slope at point b so if you say rotation, that is the same as the slope. I can't remember kanina. Okay, I ignore ko dito. It should be negative. Napansin nyo kanina, ang nasulat ko dito is negative. So it should be negative 9.877 times 10 raised to negative 5 uh, radian or negative 5.659 times 10 raised to negative 3 degree. So we have... Okay, let us compute for the rotation at B that is at X is equal to okay, 3 meters. So this is now EIY okay, EIY, EIY prime is equal to 4 times 3 squared minus 6 times 3 minus 1 squared minus 20 over uh, 3. So this is now acceptable since the value of X is greater than 1. So we have EIY prime is equal to So 
we have your value of positive 16 over 3. Again, this is kilonewton meter squared. So we have y prime is now equal to 16 over 3 kilonewton meter squared. This is divided by uh, EI. So again, magmodify supposedly tayo dito ng 1000 cube for uh, the conversion. So, we determine the actual value. This is y prime is 16 over 3. This is multiplied by 1000 cube to be in Newton mm squared. I divide by 200,000 megapascals or Newtons per square mm. Then multiplied by 150 times uh, 300 cube. This is divided by 12. Uh, the unit is uh, millimeters raised to uh, 4. So again, if you are to do unit analysis, it will be a uh, unit less. So we have in the y prime or the same as the rotation of B is now equal to So we're having a value of 7.901. This is times 10 raised to negative 5 radians. So in degrees, this is multiplied by 180 degrees divided by a pi. So we have the rotation at B or the slope at B. It's equal to 4.527. Five twenty-seven times ten raised to negative three. Are right, already in degree? All right. So that will be the computations of the rotations. So next will be the deflection. And uh, so we are now looking for the maximum deflection. So how do we locate the maximum deflection if it is not if 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 the loading condition is not uh, obvious. So supposedly, if the top kilonewtons is a uh, midway, say 1.5 meters, right, the maximum deflection will be at the mid span. So how about if it is not located at the mid span or it is not loaded at the mid span? Can we tell that the deflection is at a distance of 1.5? So obviously, in depth or low. No. Uh, we cannot uh, tell that the, the maximum deflection is on the beam span. So if we are to draw the equivalent uh, deflected form of the beam, right, so this is the exaggerated, exaggerated deflection of the beam. So this is okay, the rotation at A. So let's say this is theta A. So it is negative. Kanina. Uh, the computed value of the rotation at A is uh, negative and the computed rotation at B is positive. So why is it so? So take note that when it comes to rotation of the beam or when it comes to the slope, if the rotation is counterclockwise, it is a positive rotation. If the rotation is clockwise, it is a negative. So that's why by from horizontal, the beam will bend Upward at A, so this is obviously it is clockwise, that's why it is negative. While for B, the rotation is upward like this, so obviously it is counterclockwise, that's why it is a positive. So at the maximum deflection, I assume at this point, let's say this is Y max, if we are to draw a tangent line on that point. So that would be a horizontal tan tangent line. So what is the slope of a horizontal tangent line? Okay, the slope of a horizontal tangent line should be equal to zero. Okay? So which means, uh, if we are to conclude, we have at y max for this case of beam, at the, maximum, uh, at the location of the maximum deflection, the slope should be equal to zero. As kung gagawa ng tangent line doon, uh, you will be having a horizontal tangent line and horizontal line has a slope of zero. 
So in this, uh, from the slope equation, e i at the maximum deflection, y prime is a zero. So we have this is four x squared minus six times x minus one squared minus uh, the twenty over three. So let us compute the location of the maximum deflection. So the location of the maximum deflection from the left side or from A that will be called the 1367 meters. Alright. So that is obviously not on not under the 12 trillion newtons. So nandito raw yung maximum deflection. X to the 1.367 meters. And if you are to recall what is the deflection equation, this is we have EI And what is the equivalent of the deflection equation? That is yung EI Y is equal to 4 over 3 of X cubed minus 2 times X minus 1 cubed minus the 20 over 3 of X Yan. So kanina yun yung plus C1X plus C2 But C1 is negative 20 over 3 and C2 is uh, zero. So we have the substitute at x is equal to 1.367. This is now EI y is equal to uh, we have 4 over 3 of 1.367 cubed okay, minus 2 times 1.367 minus 1. So the location of the maximum deflection is greater than 1. So take note again for this term. The value of x should be greater than 1 to be, uh, for this term to be considered. So we have 1.367 minus 1 raised to 3, minus 20 over 3 times 1.367. Alright, so that's going to be the equivalent of EIY. So that will be called the negative 5.806. This is in terms of kilonewton cubic meter. Now let us double check. So this is the same as we have y to the negative 5.806 kilonewtons kilonewton meter cube okay, multiplied by uh, 1000 to the fourth this is for the 1 kilonewton and okay, cubic meter this is for cubic meter para maging okay, newton and m cube so 1,000 for the kilonewton, 1,000 cube for the meter cube. Para maging newton mm cube. This is divided by e again 200,000 megapascals or 200,000 newtons per mm squared. Moment of inertia. So again we have a base of 150, a depth of 300 cube divided by 12. Okay, the unit will be millimeters raised to four. So, if you are to do unit analysis, cancel yung newtons. I cancel na yung mga to. Mm squared, mm to the fourth. So, magiging mm squared. Mm cube, mm squared. So, cancel yung mm squared. Remaining numerator unit will be millimeter. Since that is deflection. So, we'll be having the value of y.
this is, this is a negative 0 0.086 millimeters so, double check ko lang Negative 0 0.86 uh, mm. So this is our maximum by the maximum deflection. So why is it negative? Uh, why is it negative? Which means uh, obviously deflection is uh, the deflection is downward. This is our for uh, this is our example.